to start it. All right, so here is your homework from yesterday. Don't worry, you still have plenty of time to do it. And so far, Kid Kid, David, Tiri, Tycoon, Domi, Jupiter. Those are the students I have that tried this, okay? It looks like Joden and Roth tried to do this, but we did not do any of the problems. All right, everybody else needs to get on board and make sure we do this homework, okay, kids? Okay. Okay, yes, but Domi, you have already finished it. I'm not worried about you. It's all your friends here. All right, just make sure you stay on it all week. How many of you kids have picked up the new homework pack? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I Me. Figured, I figured I some of us have. would not have it yet. Please, your I not yet. Yeah, more I important have it. than anything. I have else. it. Let's make sure that we get the new homework pack. That way we can stay on track for grade five. All right, kids. So. In the meantime, we are going to continue reviewing fractions because it seems like we need to do some work on fractions. All right. And then if we have time, go to decimals. All right, so we have answered most of these. I think we left off. Let's try the trial. All right, so here we have number five here says, um, oh, also, once again, this is section eight, page 78, for those of you who still have not finished this, okay? I'm on problem five. It says find the sum of two thirds and seven twelfths. Let's all keep ourselves on mute. If you have anything to say, just click the raise hand button, kids. All right. So when I'm dealing with the word sum, um, Kim Sai, what does sum mean? What kind of problem are we going to do? Um, we gonna to do Multiply? No. All right. Mina Hill, what do you think the word S-U-M, sum, means? Add. Add, all right. They're asking you to add these two things together, two-thirds, and seven twelfths. However, let's take a look at the denominators here. Um, Kim John, what are what is the denominator in two thirds? Um, three. All right. Yes, the number on the bottom is the denominator, kids. And. Gigi, what is the denominator in seven twelfths? Gigi, did you disappear on us again? All right. Tycoon, what is the denominator in seven twelfths? Um, the denominator of seven twelve is hmm. Hmm. Eight twelve. It's fifteen twelve. Huh? 
No. Once again, boys and girls, the denominator is the number on the bottom. What is the denominator in seven twelfths? Um, twelve. Twelve is the answer. All right. Yes. All right. So, whenever you're looking at fractions, we need to make sure that we have common denominators here. Okay. Common denominators mean these numbers on the bottom need to be the same. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Domi. What should we change these numbers to? 12. 12. 12 sounds like a good number. Then we don't even have to mess with 7 twelfths. We can just change one of the fractions. All right. So how many twelfths are in two thirds, Domi? Eight. Four. Eight of eight. I mean eight. I mean eight. Okay. All right. Three. Kids, can we please keep ourselves on mute? All right. Unless eight, you are twelve. answering a question. All right. Thank you. All right, if uh, three times four is 12, we need to do the same thing to our numerator on the top here. Uh, two times four is eight, as Domi said. All right, and then we are not even gonna mess with seven twelfths. We can keep that the same. All right, now our math problem becomes a bit easier. David, can you tell me what eight twelfths minus seven twelfths is? Is it plus or minus? Oh, I'm sorry. Plus, you are correct. Eight, eight twelfths plus seven twelfths. Equals one, two, three, four, eight. Uh, Fifteen twelfths. Fifteen twelfths. And yes, make sure we do not do 12 plus 12 on the bottom here. That is not how we add fractions. All right. Teacher um, MC? Yes. Uh, is that the old homework path? Yes, this is section eight, page 78. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. Colin, can you put 15 twelfths into a mixed number, please? Oh man, you kids, Holland, are you available? No. Wait. No, you're not available. Can you change fifteen twelfths into a mixed number, please? One and three ten. All right. We have one full, and then we just do 15 minus 12. That will give us three and tell you how many extra, uh, extra numerators we have there. All right. So. Question. An amusement park sold six and four fifths. OMG. All right. Um, so now we have one and three twelfths. This number is not in its simplest form. Kim John, do you think you can reduce three twelfths for us? Yes. It's equal to one, one and one four. All right, perfect. Yeah, so we still keep our one and then three and 12 here, they have a common factor of three. So we can divide by three, okay? Three divided by three is one. And 12 divided by three is four. We should end up with one and a quarter or one and one fourth. All right, 
Let's check out problem six here. It says, what must be added to two sevenths to get two thirds? Hmm. All right, so this is worded a bit weird. Um, it's saying, um, it's not saying add these two together. I know we have the word added here, but we need, they're asking you, Two sevenths plus what plus a question mark equals two thirds. All right. So this is actually what they're asking you. They're not asking you to add two sevenths and two thirds. They said what should be added to two sevenths to get an answer of two thirds. All right. So um, once again, the first thing we want to do, though, is let's make sure we have common denominators. So, um, Srekat, what should we change these numbers to on the bottom? Or hang long, what should we change these numbers to on the bottom? Okay, Hannah, what should we change these numbers to? Teacher, no one is answering because they don't want to do this problem. I know this answer. Yeah, I've got the same three or four kids that participate every day. All right, kids. Let's all turn on our cameras. Turn them on right now or I'm kicking you out of class. Hey, you kids are alive. All right, let's all find the raise hand button. Can you hand hand? Please click the raise hand button so I know that you are listening. All right, we all understand how to use this stuff, right? Yes. Don't just yes. pretend like you're a ghost and you can't answer me, kids. We're going over fractions again because it seems like a lot of us are having trouble with this stuff. Yes? Yes, David. Huh? I, I figured out the answer already. You figured out the answer? Good. This is from the old homework packet. We should have already tried to do this a few weeks ago, but it seems like some of us just didn't do it. All right. <sighs> we do this every day, boys and girls. All right, David, what do you think we should do with these numbers on the bottom? It equals to 21. All right, yes, let's change them to 21, okay? So let's start with two sevenths here. How many 21sts are in two sevenths, David? Three, and then times two equals to six. All right, happy you're getting better. All right, so we are setting up our equation like this. All right, so now, David, uh, we have two thirds. How many 21sts are in two thirds? Equals to seven and then times two equals 14. All right, you are getting good at this. All right, so now we have six 21sts plus what 
equals 14 21st. Do we have an answer? This Eight. is basically six plus what equals 14? Yes? All right, so we should end Eight. up with eight. Our answer should say eight twenty-first. Yes. All right, and eight and 21, I do not believe have any common factors, so you can just leave that as is. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. Piri, are you alive? Yes. Yay. All right. Can you help me with problem number seven? We want to subtract five twelfths from three fifths. So let's look at our denominators here. What number should we change these denominators to? All right, what is a common multiple of 12 and five? 16. 60, yes, you get a nice big number. All right, let's change both of these to 60ths. All right, so um, we now wanna, let's deal with three fifths first, okay? It says subtract five twelfths from three fifths. So three fifths is actually gonna go over here, all right? So five, which is our denominator, five times 12 is 60. So let's do three times 12 on the top here. What should we put there? 36. 36, okay. And what about this one? 25. Hmm? 25. 25? Yes. Okay. Yes, 12 times 5 is 60. 5 times 5 is 25. And then 36 sixtieths minus 25 sixtieths is how many? Eleven sixtieths. Yes. Okay. Thank you for playing. All right. So we have eleven sixtieths. Does this? Uh, do these numbers have any common factors? I don't think so. We can just leave our answer just like that. All right. Who's up next, kids? Anybody want to try problem number eight? Besides the same people that always participate, Roth, how about you? You want to try number eight? Okay, I guess. All right. That is a good attitude to have. Whoops, sorry. All your kids still have your hands lowered here. Lower, 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 lower. All right, sorry. Um, okay. We want to know what minus one half equals three sevenths. Uh -oh. What is a good first step here? All right, Roth. Once again, we need to look at these numbers on the bottom. Let's look at these denominators and then let's change them. Yes. All right, so what can we change 
two and seven two so that they are the same. Do they have any common multiples? Um, yes. Uh, 14. All right, let's change them to 14. All right, so how many fourteenths are in one half, Roth? We got to do some multiplication here. Two times seven is 14. Let's do the same thing for this one on the top. One times seven is how many? Seven, seven, seven. Okay. You think um, you can figure out three sevenths? Uh, equals six. All right, seven times two is 14. Three times two is six. All right, so do we think we can answer this problem now, Ralph? We um, have yeah. What minus seven fourteenths equals six fourteenths? We kind of have to work backwards here. We're going to take seven fourteen minus six fourteen. Mm, I know it says minus here, but I'm actually working backwards. We need a big number so we can subtract stuff from it. Let's do um, this backwards. Six plus seven equals. Six plus seven equals to 13. All right, does that work? 13 yeah. minus seven equals six. Yes, all right, that works out. And this is already in its simplest form. All righty, let's see. Um, Joden, do you wanna try a word problem, please? Yes. Okay. All right. It says Tina puts seven eighths kilos or kilograms of vegetables into a basket. The mass of the basket is two thirds of a kilogram. Find the total mass of the basket and vegetables. So what kind of problem are we doing here, Joden? Are we gonna do multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction? Addition? Yes, you are correct. All right, so it says we have some vegetables and we have a basket. And we want to find the total, meaning what they, uh, what they are all together. What do they weigh or what is the mass? So um, we are going to add 7 eighths plus 2 thirds, but those have different denominators. So uh, what should we change this 8 and this 3 to to make them the same? 24. 24 sounds like a good number. Eight times three is 24. All right, let's deal with this seven eighths first. Seven times three is 21. Perfect. Uh, two thirds? Two times eight. Uh, two times eight is 16. Two times eight is 16. All right, so our answer should be? 39, that's uh, 37. That's uh, 37. 21, 6, 37 sounds pretty good, man. All right. So now we have an improper fraction here, Joden. Can we change this? I know that 
All right, 24 is one hole. 24 times two is 48, so that's too big. So our answer is gonna be one something. Sorry, say that one more time. Uh, one, 37, one and 37, 24. Not 37, what 37 24 is equal to one and how many 24s? One, one 24. All we, all we have to do here is subtract 24 from 37. So seven minus four is Three. Three and oh, 13. Minus two is one. Okay. So these two numbers are now equal. 37 24 is equal to one and 13 24. All right. Good work. And I think we can solve this problem. Let's see. Lisa, are you here? All right, how about Li Meng? Can you help me out with this problem? Okay, let me read it first. Poland used three, three fifths liters of milk to make pancakes. She used five eighths liters of milk to bake muffins. Which one of these pancakes or muffins did she use more milk? How much more? All right, so what are we trying to do here? All right, this is a bit of a tough question. It says, which one of these pancakes or muffin did she use more milk? Uh, so this Sorry, actually, can you say that again? You cut off the first part of this problem is just asking you which of these pancakes or muffins did she use more milk? So we're, we don't even need to do any addition or subtraction or anything. They're just really asking you which is a bigger number, three fifths or five eighths? So in order to do that, we still need to change these denominators into numbers that we can compare. I change. 40. Okay. The denominators must be 40. Well, they, okay. Let's change them to 40ths. And let's start with 3 fifths. How many 40ths is that? Uh, a three fifths is okay. So five times eight, 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 eight twenty four forty Perfect. All right. And then how much is five eighths liters? Twenty five forty. Twenty five fortieths. All right. So. Uh, Li Meng, which is bigger, three fifths or five eighths? Five eighths. All right, we can see here that five eighths is 25 fortieths. So this is your bigger number. So, um, but that's actually not quite what they're asking you. It says, which one of these pancakes or muffins is more milk? So your answer could either be pancakes or muffins. Uh, muffins. All right, yes, it says she used five eighths of milk with the muffin. So your answer here should actually be muffins, right? Which is a weird answer for a math problem. All right, and then part two here says, how much more milk did she use? All right, so if we set up a math problem, 25 40ths 
minus 2440. How much more milk did she use? One liter. Hmm? One liter. One liter. Not one liter, but one 140th of a liter here. All right. Cool. Yay. We actually finished that on time. All right. This is a good place to stop. We can deal with problem 11 later on today. All right. Also, kids, I just want to remind you all um, make sure that you, oopsie. Let's make sure that we all go to Class Dojo and make sure we try and do this fractions homework today, okay? Is it the new one? No, David, you have already done it and you got 100%. Good work. David, just look times. You are free. I can give you more homework if you want. But also, please remember to pick up your homework packs. All right, super important. That's okay. Get on to some new stuff. Uh, I already oh, did. Also, uh, you kids told me that I asked you what you wanted to read last time, and a bunch of you kids said you wanted to read some horror stories. So I put in some scary stories. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I can't hear you. Okay, I'm trying to read it. Scary stories. We will read some scary stories, so make sure you pick up the new homework pack, all right? Okay, I already picked it up. So we're going to read it. Go story. Go story. Sorry, Tim, sorry, what's the question? Did you you mean this? Yes. The, the scary, the most scary ghost? Story? I don't know. Maybe you think it's scary. We'll see. How scary do you want it? I don't want to make it too scary. Then your parents are going to yell at me. Make it as scary as you can. Oh, no, that oh, sounds no. bad. Well, Dolly, right, kids. you were That does it for it's right it's now. At 1 p.m. Let's make sure we're on time for class. All right, kids. I'll see you Bye. later. Bye. 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 Bye.